Hello world. No, I don't have delusions of grandeur. I thank all five people that watch this vlog. Today is a good day because today we're able to lay to rest our old and broken Airzuka because fresh in the mail came a new one. These things last quite well, so I can't honestly remember how to put it together because it was years um, since I got one last time. fairly straightforward. Can't imagine it's a, a hard thing. Maybe maybe I should have read the instructions. On the top. Oh you're kidding me. I literally just snapped it and broke it. Oh David. You're kidding me. It doesn't even fit. Ah, other end. Yes. Broken another. <coughs> I've adjusted another one. Oh, I hope these adjustments are fixable. Try and fit the bit at the other end. That must be easier. Yes. Yes! Got it! Ne jetez pas! You heard. And. Oh. Honest day. Screw goes in. Done. So, this is an Azuka. This thing blows out little, like, gusts of air, which can move things. <laughs> we invented this game with our young people. Invented is a strong term, isn't it? We just created a game. Um, where you have four polystyrene balls balancing on um, <clears throat> like cardboard tubes. And uh, yeah, obviously the slightest wind will displace the balls from their, oh goodness me, oh goodness me from their place and uh, what we're doing now is trying to recreate the fun and games of this but with a brand new Azuka because our old one kind of broke so what we'll be doing is <laughs> is using the Azuka to blow these balls off their perches One shot. Needless to say, I think it's quite clear that I'm fairly pleased with my new toy. It's Christmas coming up around the corner. I don't know if you've noticed that. And um, as a result, um, we're having a church like family Christmas party, and um, I have to provide some games for our young people. And not telling you what they are, but it might involve knocking snowballs off of perches. See what I mean? Snowballs. Yeah, I think you get the picture. It's like nearly December already. I I realise every now and again, especially when I'm uploading these videos, that like I started doing this at my birthday, uh, June, and um, I made a video called Halfway to 70. And um, in that video, I had the kind of realisation that I hit 35 this year, and that makes me halfway to 70. I, 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 in my mind, I was gonna make an entire vlog where we're called halfway to 70 and every week it was gonna be like, I'm halfway to 70 and this is what I'm doing. I just kind of gave up after week one because I didn't really like the idea. Mainly being reminded that I'm halfway to 70 was what put me off. But this is now week uh, 20 something uh, of this little uh, vlog. And uh, I stopped numbering them after like week six or something. Um, partly because I didn't know how long I was gonna do them for and then I didn't want to be embarrassed that like I'd numbered them and only got to number seven but here we are at week 20 odd and um halfway through and it really reminds me of um 
something Dave Thomas said in one of his vlogs where he was saying, don't, uh, essentially he was saying, don't despise the day of small beginnings. He was saying, he just started vlogging with his iPhone. Fair play, they're really good Dave. And, and my particular favorite, it was two favorite videos. One where you went for a walk and did a Q and A and the other was the, the vlog about grief. Are two brilliant vlogs and, and really, really well done. If you don't subscribe to Dave, I've already shouted him out before, but go and, go and check him out. I'll put a link in the description. But that whole thought of like, don't despise the day of small beginnings, just grab your camera and go, or just grab your phone, don't even need a camera. I make these on my iPhone. Um, I've got nothing special to make them with, um, but it's just good fun to do and it's great to be able to share and it's lovely to hear your feedback too. For all those of you who have bothered to subscribe, I thank you very much. A couple of weeks ago, I said the whole thing about like 52 changes rather than one big change. For me, this is a 52 small changes thing. Uh, it's about making small, little, manageable adjustments while we can. I think it's great to have that attitude of I'm going to do this because I think it's the right thing to do rather than I'm going to do this because this is going to be successful or this is going to be the biggest thing ever. Um, you know, uh, go for it. Use what it is you have. What's your five loaves and two fish to uh, coin a phrase? Um, what is it that you have in your hand that you can use? Make a difference with what you have. Don't sit around all day bemoaning the fact you don't have X, Y, and Z when you do have A, B, and C. So that's it for me for the vlog today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, why don't you share, comment, like, subscribe, all those good things. Otherwise, um, have a wonderful Thursday and enjoy the rest of the day. Bye. Come on!